Hello everybody, what's up? It is Prestige Newman, and today we are not watching Trivia. I'm actually showing you guys the Xbox update walkthrough for May of 2017. Um, I'm bringing you guys everything Xbox. You know, I love Xbox. I'll bring you guys PlayStation every now and then, and definitely fucking Nintendo. But right now it's Xbox. Um, I guess they're updating again for whatever reason. So here is the update for May 2017. Let me know what you all think, and here we go. Hi, I'm Larry here of Xbox Live's Major, Major Nelson. Nelson. Here with a walkthrough of the new Xbox update beginning to roll out now. We're, We're talking, talking Arena going live for Killer Instinct. Instinct. LFG, LFG gets, gets some new upgrades, upgrades and, and we've got, got a great new update for parties. We, we are, are excited, excited to announce that Arena on Xbox Live is rolling out to the general public for Killer Instinct. Starting today, you can find a new tab labeled Tournaments in the Game Hub for Arena titles. In that tab, you'll be able to see upcoming tournaments you can register for. When it's time to check in for tournaments, you'll receive a notification on your console, Windows 10, or the mobile Xbox app. Another exciting update to Arena is arriving with the first ever gamer-created tournaments coming to Killer Instinct. At launch, you'll be able to create tournaments for your Xbox Live Club in the Windows 10 Xbox app. If you are the owner or admin of a club, simply go to the club page and navigate to the Tournaments tab. There, you'll see an option to create a tournament. You can set the date and time and tweak the settings from here. Then, advertise your tournament to the club's activity feed. Of course, this is just a first step for Arena. You can anticipate support for team creation in Xbox, tournament creation from your Xbox console, as well as game clip and beam broadcast tagging, so you can easily watch other players broadcast their matches. And of course, we will continue to bring new publishers and more great games to the Arena platform. The new update is also introducing looking for group notifications. This will allow you to be notified anytime someone you follow creates a looking for group post. Likewise, if you create an LFG post, you can now share it to your activity feed or send it directly to someone with a message. Moving on, clubs have offered a tremendous way for like-minded gamers to come together, and the new Beam tab in clubs will help broadcasters connect with their fellow club members. Simply, Simply go, go to your, your club, club and navigate, navigate to the Beam tab, and, and you'll see anyone, anyone in your club that's currently broadcasting. broadcasting. Club, club owners can even filter broadcasts based on game and screen maturity rate. The, the team has also made improvements to parties. parties. Now, now you can, can add an overlay that shows which party members are speaking. speaking. This, this is great when you connect with gamers for the first time and you are just getting to know your new friends. You can also change the location and transparency. For more details on the Xbox update, be sure to head to Xbox Wire at news.xbox.com or my blog at majornelson.com. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, so not really a huge update. There's a few things. It's not that big. Um, a lot of it looks like arenas and tournaments and just really the online competitive mode. Um, Xbox is really big with, uh, like, PlayStation is really into its gaming part, you know, and it, the core the core of the console, and I understand that there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, I think that's awesome. But Xbox is going a little more social with the whole Windows 10, Xbox One, compatible, doing this and that. It's definitely more social than the PlayStation is. Um, a lot of people like that, and a lot of people don't. A lot of people think Xbox One should, you know, stick to video games, video games, video games, you know, no online, no, it's, that's not true. We've actually grown to like this, and a lot of people that don't like it, I think, are just stu stupid. It's, yeah. Just have fun. Play it. Have fun. You'll have fun. Meeting new people is awesome. Less and less people talk on the mic on certain games because, well, thanks to games like Call of Duty, there's a lot of assholes. Or Grand Theft Auto. Or really any online game. Anyway, thank you all so much, and peace out, freshies.